Yes. Enjoy having to use your own head to write smut fan fiction, just to be able to afford the occasional glass of turnip water. Sounds kinky to be frank. Uh, it's time to date some phones or something. Let's get into it, shall we? Hello? <laughs> Welcome to Dial Town, phone dating sim. You must now enter this hound's questions three. <gasps> Wait, am I me right now or me right now? Do I look sober enough to answer that question accurately? <laughs> you look like a fucking hound. That's as hurtful as it is accurate, you know. Where does he have a waffle? All right. Anywho, what's your name? Phone. <laughs> what was it? Phone gin. Phone gingy. Phone gingy. Oh. Wait. Uh. There. We can still have a phone pun. It's now Alistair Ring. Really? That's your name? Oh, hun, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm just how God made me, dog. <laughs> I am God. Uh, 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 um... Uh... What did I say about calling me? All right then, get out of my sight. Oh, it's me! Hmm... <laughs> you sinful creature! <laughs> Seems I'm alive again. Darn. Why do I have so many nipples? I, I, I am already... <laughs> I have been streaming for 20 minutes. 15 of those minutes were spent in starting soon or setting up the game. I'm a professional. I know what I'm doing. All right? Don't you, don't you worry about a thing. You're in good hands. Ah, <sighs> I did it. I captured the game. <laughs> My testes are firm and ripe. <laughs> Push me in it. <laughs> Time for reproduction is now! <laughs> I must find a dank, dark pit to lay my eggs in. Fairground. Fairground is dark, dank, and greasy. Plentiful supply of carnival food nearby. Yes. I must go to the carnival. Don't make no science to me. Platypi! Platypus? Platypuses. Platy Platypucti. Platy Do platypi have nipples? I think they have nipples. All right, you know what? Okay, sidetrack. Do platypus have nipples? Like all mo uh, mammals, uh, monotreme mothers produce milk for their young, but unlike all mammals, monotremes, like the platypus, have no nipples. Their milk oozes out of mammary gland ducts and collects in grooves on their skin, where the nursing babies lap it up or suck it from tufts of fur. That's more than I ever wanted to know about platypi. Please don't bang on the glass, it scares Jerry. 
Greetings, ticket buffoon. My name is Jerry, but okay, sir. Look, sir, I'm only telling this because your stench is gonna drive away customers if I let you loiter around here uninhibited for any longer. It's Valentine's Day today. Valen what? Valentine's Day. Isn't that for romantic people? Yeah, but Did you see me see him do a little figure thing? He put his he put his index fingers together. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't speak bottom. Didn't you say that you have eggs to lay or some other bizarre drivel to that effect? Surely you have a mate of some kind if you're getting ready to lay eggs. This game is so fucking cursed. Does the sock under my mattress count? Okay, fuck it. I'm cutting to the chase because I can only take another. <laughs> for this game is <laughs> first of all Fuck you. second of all I love you <laughs> I love the use of color in the dialogue <laughs> oh my god <laughs> wait a minute <laughs> you Jerry are you <laughs> with a smoking hot babe <laughs> hey ticket Jerry are you by any chance for I will call the police! Aww. I will leave my tent. Uh. I will go. to Uptown Dialtown. Welcome to Dialtown, home of everything and everyone. Not cool enough to be in Downtown Dialtown. So, what now? <clears throat> uh, summon a local hobo. Hang on. Uh, let me, let me, let, let me try this. Hold the town, I summon thee. Yo. Hey, nice to meet you, friendo. The name's Hound. You need something? This music is great. <laughs> Holy shit. <clears throat> hey, nice to meet you. Are you new around here? New. Pal, I'm the oldest thing alive. Like even older than like a dinosaur? Okay, counting dead things is like cheating and stuff. But yeah, I'm older than pretty much every dinosaur I've met. Yeah, thing is, I'm kind of like God and stuff. I created everything around you right now and farted out the cosmos and the stars and shit. Yeah, I'm kind of a big deal actually. Hang on, you created everything? Well, yeah, most things. But not everything. <clears throat> well, yeah, you guys did some of the work to be fair. Uh, you mean like building society and shit? We do live in a society. Punch God. You fool. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicated innocence. Hey, I appear to have just shit myself. You win this round, green one.
Are you drunk right now? Is it 11 a.m. yet? I'm awake and moving, so yes, it must be at least noon. <laughs> then I'm indeed moments away from severe liver failure, yes! Uh... Aren't you afraid you'll be arrested for standing on the road? What is a traffic cop to a god? And what is God to a non-believer? Honestly, no judgment here, pal. Uh, talk to a local bystander. Howdy do, green partner. The name's Mikey, which is short for... Actually, scratch that. Mikey works just fine. Uh... <laughs> Me, Alistair Ring. Hello. Well, pleased to make your acquaintance, acquaintance, partner. So, what can I do you for on this fine spring afternoon? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Could you take me to the fun fair, please? Aw, oh, shucks, partner. I would. Don't get me wrong. But, alas, I'm actually on my way to a book signing. You're looking at Dialtown's newest best-selling writer. That's fine, man. I was merely trying to use you for a free ticket. Basically, I'm trying to scam a sucker into paying me into the fun fair. I'm just a sponge, you see. Mere lichen. Pond scum. Well, now, ain't that a coinkadink? All my bestsellers happen to be about Parasites of all kinds. You won't find a man who knows more about parasitism in all Dialtown, partner. Speaking of, let me know what I can do you for, because any longer and I'll be running tardy. Um. Uh, hey Mikey, give me a parasite fact. You know, there's a whole world of screwed up critters out there, and I love all of it. You know, there's a critter out there, a little isopod called the tongue louse that lives in the ocean and oh boy, it crawls into a fish's mouth, rips off the fish's tongue and becomes its new tongue. Honestly, that's pretty relatable. Sounds like something I'd totally do. Thanks for the fact, my insides feel itchy now. <laughs> yeah, my, my tongue feels all tingly right now. Uh, so if you're into parasites, um, are, are you into me? Pal, no offense, but I find you mildly upsetting to gawk at. None taken, I get that a lot. Though, if you happen to have, say, a few tapeworms wriggling around in that old gut of yours, give me a call. If you do, there might be some free isopod grub in it for you. It's kinda edible. What kind of creature do you take me for, huh? You look like you'd probably eat what I have in my bag. You're totally right, I would. Is it kibble? Can I have some? Hey, uh, I'm a Farongles the Clown! The fuck is this? Clowns don't even exist anymore. But don't you believe in Bigfoot? All different kettle of fish. Bigfoot is real, clowns are not. Bigfoot is a feral primordial ape man who lives in the woods and is only ever seen through hazy disposable camera footage. Exactly. You might as well be my uncle. Clowns are literally just people with funny red noses. How is that any less easy to comprehend? <laughs> you think clowns are people? Okay, so should we skip over Frongle's advert then? Fuck that, read the clown page, it might be funny. But you said... Oh, fuck it, you're impossible. Read the clown page! <gasps> read the clown page! I'm reading it, I'm reading it! Let's see here. Hiya, boys and girls! I'm a Farongle the Clown! I really need money! 
I'm a real clown. I may not be licensed, but now I'm also dabbling in plumbing and dentistry. I'll do just about anything for $4. Please hire the clown. I'll do anything. I'm living in a storm drain right now. You think any task is too lowly for this clown? Four dollars, by God, you can afford that. Come on, I have a chimp to feed. There's a whole page of this. Skip to the end then. Yours honkfully, for Ongles the clown. Honk honk. Do I have four dollars? I want to hire the clown. If you had four fucking dollars, you wouldn't be looking for someone to pay you into the fun fair. Maybe I just want the company. You have me. You are pawn scum. Well, you lay eggs. Why did you say that as if I, that laying eggs is an insult? Okay, fuck it. Yeah, you. Hey, you wanna take it, my chimpanzee out for tea? He's a little on the feral side now that he's reached full sexual maturity, but just as adorable as ever. Just don't let him near kids, pets, open spaces, fire or people it's only four dollars by god you can afford the okay this is clearly that frongo's the clown character again <laughs> clown funny <laughs> oh this this game was written specifically for my sense of humor Phone sex hotline. Somehow I don't think you're gonna get anywhere with this one. Wanna bounce? You have any better ideas? Consider again the bounce. We're calling the number, damn it. <sighs> okay, okay. You insist? How are you even gonna make the call? Here we are. Dale Town's only phone booth. Since half of like all the people got their heads replaced with rotary phones, I dare say this thing hasn't seen much use since then. Uh, honestly, this booth feels bigger on the inside. It seems to use that ability solely to contain far more filth than this one particular fetid box should be able to contain. Oh, come on. Is it really that bad? Well, for starters, there's a strong smell of urine in here. All of the buttons on the keypad are sticky with gum, and there's a dead raccoon on the floor. <laughs> Can I name the raccoon? No, you'll just get attached. The raccoon! It's a raccoon! What did I just say? <laughs> Sorry, it was an accident. <laughs> oh, oh, it's a he. Okay, well, his name is Maho. <laughs> You're not keeping it. I'm keeping it, and that's final. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> raccoon friend gained! We did it! <laughs> the strong text drawing into the keypad. <laughs> no, you actually regulated the <laughs> With startling ease, given your illiteracy. <laughs> the error was more so you not putting 25 cents in the phone box's coin slot. <laughs> 25 cents, who do they think I am? Winston Churchill? You're senseless. So, what's the plan? Uh. <laughs> Bang really hard on the phone box and hope it works. Oh, please, like if that had ever worked. <laughs> oh shit, that actually seemed to work. <laughs> it's egg time. <laughs> I never say that again. <laughs> Hi. My name is Randy Jade, and I'm feeling randy for you tonight. I'm sorry. My boss forces me to say that. I really should have just lied about my name. <laughs> uh, 
I'd like to feel randy tonight. Uh, oh, is that f flirting? I, I shouldn't be surprised. I mean, why else would you have called a phone sex hotline? Sorry, I'm such an idiot. No, wait, don't hang up. I can be macho a and sexy. I was just distracted a second ago because you called me at work. I mean, duh. Don't you work at a phone sex hotline? I mean, yes, of course I do, but it's only a side job. I have to make enough to pay rent. So then what exactly is your main job then? During the day, I work as a bird wrangler for Dialtown Animal Control. I'm k kinda in the middle of, a, of subduing a hostile swan right now. <laughs> Do you typically wrestle with birds while talking dirty with patrons? Well, not usually. I only had like maybe four people complain to my manager about me doing that so far. Which, all things considered, is a major victory as far as this phone's concerned. So you're fighting a swan right now, then? I, I mean, it's not that I'm fighting a swan, and more that I'm... trying my darndest to subdue and capture it before it wreaks havoc. You sound like you're crying. I can't let the swan see. Nari knows that it's physically and mentally stronger than me. I can't let it know that it's also emotionally stronger, too. So, like, what's your sexuality, Randy? What kind of people do you date? Beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> so you're saying you like begging. I am begging you to tell me what you want from me. Are you trying to take my flesh? Are you trying to steal my organs? <laughs> one please all right hey god we're we're <laughs> we are trying all of these <clears throat> nah hot stuff how's about we have a fun fair shindig home slice P pardon come again don't mind me daddy oh i just think you're fly you dig what what are you saying am i being threatened <laughs> <laughs> Don't be tripping, dude. I come in peace, man. It's all cool, cool beans here, home slice. Please, I don't want to die. Just take my wallet. Oh, God, I can't give you my wallet because we're talking over the phone. <laughs> Look, if I shove my wallet into my receiver's heart, I can't really let me live. <laughs> I'm in too deep. I have to keep going. Mellow yellow, my zoinkin' brother. I coming. <laughs> I wanna live! Congrats. You freaked Randy so much out of here. Hey, young. Dude, these beans are wacky. <laughs> Speak like that one more fucking time and send you straight to the title screen. <laughs> Gnarly. <laughs> I'm going to cry. Okay, so it's a good thing that I saved. Okay. Fun fair. Now it's that or you die screaming. I, I think my death is going to involve a lot of screaming and pants wetting, regardless of my current choices. Also, what? Fun fair. Take me to the fun fair. Take me there or I will devour your organs. I demand no more and no less from you, Randy. Uh, are you, are you asking me out on a date? Yeah, thanks for noticing. Gee whiz, this is, I've never been asked out on a date before. Usually I'm the dude who has to beg people for, beg people to go out for coffee with me and to resist the urge to throw the scalding beverage in my face during the sordid ordeal of taking me out. So you're in? I sure as heck am. What do I have to lose? Well, I could be like a serial killer and murder you for your skin or whatever. Well, as I always say, 
At worst, this will probably just kill me, which is best for everyone, including myself. <laughs> Good motto, words to live by. <laughs> I... All right. I guess I can leave in a few minutes. Take your time, my sweet. It's okay. My time is actually worth very little. Better if I just run, so I get all sweaty, and you can't smell the scent of swan massacre and desperation over my overwhelming body odor. My manager asks later, I'll just say the swan won. It always does anyway. Catch you at the fun fair, m my sweet. <laughs> See you later, cutie pie. I think the phone lowered that my pants were already wet with pond water and sw swan saliva. Otherwise, I'd have to change my pants right about now. I'll I'll see you there. We did it! We got the date. Well then, looks like you weaseled your way into the fun fair after all. What do you think of him? Personally, I find him awful in every conceivable way. But what about you? He sounds like he smells like urine. <laughs> That's not nice. You just said he was awful in every conceivable way. I feel that leaves a lot up to the imagination, though. You just stated that the man out <laughs> smells like piss. <laughs> Tell me that you think he doesn't. No, no, I do agree with you. I just think it was mean for you to state it aloud. <laughs> Some thoughts are better left within our cranial prisons. <laughs> <laughs> Confused ape noises. <laughs> oh, 